Monsieur Whitney, this way, please. Thanks. Well, you know, in such a moment, there is no time to waste. I'm sorry, we went fast and so fierce. He's not feeling very well. He's surrounded by the Oh, it looks like they are starting. No, it's Shall better we sit if I down? Stand. Uh, sure. This, way I this is really delightful. <laughs> Miss Tatiana, yes, are you comfortable there? Thank you. Oh, Count Oblensky is still not feeling well. A pity. They are starting. <laughs> Whitney. Ah, Monsieur Whitney. They have already started, but please, go ahead. Thanks.
Sorry, wrong door. Bonjour, Monsieur Whitney. Alors, tu es venu pour continuer notre discussion d'hier soir Je réfléchis. Je trouve l'idée de Monsieur Jaurès contradictoire. Ah oui Vas-y, explique-toi. Bon. Tu dis que si c'est la guerre, c'est pas l'Allemagne contre la France, c'est les ouvriers contre les ouvriers. Bien entendu. Et s'ils appellent à la mobilisation, au lieu d'y aller, on fait la pavière. S'ils mobilisent, oui. Comme ça, il n'y aura pas de guerre. Évidemment. Sans les ouvriers, il n'y aurait pas de guerre. Il n'y aurait pas de chemin de fer, il n'y aurait voilà pas de Voilà le problème si nous, les Français, on fait la grève et les Allemands la font pas, que se passera-t-il Attends un moment Ah, n'est rien, c'est là le problème Ils seront à Paris dans trois jours Et où serait il donc, ton monsieur Jaurès À Bruxelles Attends, tu simplifies toujours les choses. Évidemment qu'on parle d'un mouvement international ouais, C'est dommage qu'il ne soit pas venu, ton monsieur Jaurès. J'aimerais bien lui poser la question personnellement, moi. Pauvre idiot Même si tu avais l'audace J'ai gagné, c'est tout. Good afternoon. Mind if I join you? So dreadfully dull, these long journeys. Uh, George Abbott, Nobel Industries, London. I couldn't help noticing your accent as you were talking to the conductor. The Ukraine, perhaps? Your English is impeccable, if I may say so. You must have spent quite some time in England. I live just outside London myself when I'm home. The city is just too active for me. Dangerous, too. I don't suppose you were there last week when that bomb went off. Awful business. Really. Very messy. Bits of bodies screwed about and so on. Did you say you were going on to Odessa? A reason I ask is we happen to be looking for a representative in that part of the world. Preferably a bright young fellow with fluent English and Russian, such as yourself. Of course, I realize with your family background you've probably never considered a career in business. And of course, there's no question of you doing it for money. But after all, you are a member of the new generation. <laughs> Be ashamed to bury yourself in the countryside, fiddling with agriculture and so on. Why, with your abilities, you could literally help build the modern Russia. Surely you'll agree that Russia must make connection with modern Europe in order to flourish and develop. Excuse uh, me. Pardon oh, me. Must you go already? Uh, oh well, uh, do think about it. Excuse me, uh, sir. Pardon me. Pardon me. Seems awfully quiet all of a sudden. I wonder where everyone's got off to. I believe many passengers are at the concert, monsieur. Oh, yes, I'd forgotten. Of course, that would explain it. Amazing, really, when you stop to think about it. A concert crossing Europe at 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Wonderful thing, modern technology. Still, our lot seems to be to sit here and read the paper. You are welcome to Le Figaro, monsieur. I have read all the articles of interest. Oh, thank you. Le train entre en gare d'Amstetten. Amstetten, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Bonjour, monsieur.
monsieur. Bonjour, monsieur. Miss Balanskaya is not in, monsieur. I believe she is at the concert. Amstetten, Amstetten, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Le train entre en gare d'Amstetten. Amstetten, 5 minutes d'arrêt. Bonjour, monsieur. Have a good afternoon, mademoiselle. Ах, так это вы мне приснились. Не берите. Может быть, она у вас запоет. Just a minute. How did you get in there? Shh. Monsieur Oblinsky is asleep. He mustn't be disturbed. Yes, monsieur. Has my grandfather? He has been quiet, mademoiselle. I looked in about an hour ago. He was sleeping. Thank you. Have a good afternoon, mademoiselle. What? Tatiana, did you give your grandfather his tea after lunch? I... yes. Don't forget, every three hours.
Monsieur, that is Herr Schmidt's compartment. Excusez-moi, monsieur, c'est le conducteur. Since you have asked me to put pen to paper only if absolutely necessary, it is with the utmost discretion that I have right to inform you of a new development. Simply put, the agent in question, whom I shall not name, appears unable to pay the agreed upon sum. therefore compelled to cancel the transaction. I hope that you will consider that my decision was correct and that you will give me another chance to perform such a splendid service for our fatherland. Your loyal friend and servant, August Schmidt. Monsieur Whitney, they have already started, but please, go ahead. Thanks.